instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. 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 Commander, your men want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. When using explosives. currently roughly midway through Monday, and I'm here to bring you bad decisions and war crimes for y'all's entertainment, because it's time to go back to XCOM and slap the ever-living shit out of some dirty alien scum. Because this is our planet, damn it. Let's see here. So I hope so far Monday's been treating y'all right. It's good to see everybody that's wandered in. For my part, it has been pleasantly uneventful, given that after the working weekend, I've got the day off. Hence, you know, being here in the first place. Spend the first half of the day with the dog. The second half of the day. It's time to praise Zorg, gentlemen. have a point reward for exercise restraint. Yeah, I could get behind it. What in the... <laughs> What's up? Oh my god, what are those? What are those? Alright. You know, I hate to say it, but that is probably how this is going to go. That's what that is. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, did XCOM just crash? I think XCOM just crashed. No, wait, nope, nope. Okay, it did not crash. At least I don't think it did. Hello, Von Brummelstein. How you doing? And Harlan, you're not wrong. How many mods am I loading? Uh, I think about 215-ish. Doing a few chores around the house, getting stuff ready to move out on Thursday. Yeah, it sounds like an eventful few days. I hope the move, the move goes smoothly, Maze. I really do. Hey, it didn't crash. Hell yeah. 
All right, we're one day away from mag guns. <laughs> How many mods are we loading? Yes. <laughs> we are loading AU levels of mods. Uh, who am I bringing? Who's on their way in here? I'm not entirely sure. Well, uh, fuck it, because I'm not sure what we're in for. Let's, uh, let's make it as good a chance as we got. Ooh, that is a hell of a milestone, Hughes. Congratulations, dude. It is a hell of a thing being out on your own for the first time. First victory of the day, no crash. True facts. Very true facts. Ah, the pup is in. She has had her lunch. Oh. And the phone going off for stuff I don't care about. Okay. Oh, pet redeem. My dear. Oh, yep. There we go. Saris is getting the scritches. Many pets. <sighs> that is always a good thing, Hughes. Yes, yeah, Saris is currently sat on the arm of the comfy chair next to her mum and is looking very hopefully at the smoothie on the desk. Yes, I'm talking about you, little one. Oh, now she's looking at her mum. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. I have a pup date for Thursday recorded from the time at the dog park today. Saris is a stone-cold ice queen, ladies and gentlemen. There was a basset hound who wanted nothing more than for her attention. There was no love for the basset. Only tennis ball. Okay. Any other games planned than Long War? I mean, Long War is kind of what I'm doing when it's not Thursdays and it's just kind of filling in for empty space or, you know, whenever I'm available. Last Thursday, we had the return of Angie Fishman with Splinter Cell. I've got some Castlevania and Castlevania-ish titles lined up that I can turn to. And then, really, I mean, I don't have anything lined up, per se. Like, that, that would assume that I have things planned out, you know? I could always pick back up the Sekiro save I started on stream oh, a good hot minute ago. I suppose, but eh, really, I just kind of make it up as I go. Really, Hidden Boss, the thing I have to ask is, when did you think I started being somebody with a plan? You've been, you've seen the buffoonery for how long? Plan, find element. <laughs> I can't even pronounce that shit. Goddamn. 
I cannot speak the words. Thank you, Tirlock. You are correct. We have known each other for quite some time. And yeah, that, that uh, that's an accurate summary. Hello, Digiman. That said, if you guys are starting to get bored of XCOM and would like to move on to something else, I mean, just let me know. I'm here largely to bullshit around with you guys. Uh-oh. I am down for mixing it up. Oh, this is going to end in tragedy, isn't it? Odds are that won't kill it. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Mix up Anki Fishcom. Terror from the fish. Aw, you say the sweetest things, Tearlock. Oh, come on! You little bastard. Alright. Well then. I guess we're doing it. We're doing it live. Fuck it. It begins. <laughs> oh, it begins all right. Grazing hit. Grazing hit. Grazing hit! Hello, Diggs. Ooh. Now that's nice. How many nat ones can we roll in one sitting? I don't know. Let's find out. Fuck it, another grazing hit. You know what? I don't care. It's dead. It's dead. We killed it. Oh, that's... Oh, I am scared at that thought, Diggs. What are you doing? What evil are you attempting to wreak? He just said he slid into your DMs. Be scared. Be scared, he says. Lady Red's giving me a chuckle, a knowing chuckle from the distance, or from the side, I mean. I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen. I am concerned. Is an art about to be committed? I mean, good question. Odds are, yes. I can only wonder what deviltry she is up to. Alright, what I do know is no escape sectoid. There we go. Don't run! Don't run! <laughs> I was honestly expecting there to be something over here to uh, jump him as soon as he got over that position. It's like, oh, oh, great. Wonderful. Guess what we have? It's death. 
she is proficient at committing an art on the uh, on the enemy or on friendlies. She's just proficient at committing arts on people in general. You are correct, your luck. Things can indeed always get worse. Something went through that door recently, and I don't know where it currently is, which is slightly concerning. There they are. Oh, hey, more noodles. We have a noodle of noodles. Wait, it's not mind control anymore. Oh god, it's not mind control anymore. What the fuck? You. You. Mariper. Fix it. Make problem not problem. Unproblem my problem. There we go. That's one problem unproblemed. Yeah. Snake gun rogue! Ah! Try the brain scrambler over there. <laughs> problem, no probleming. Yes. Exact. Oh my god, we mind controlled the other one. Well, this one gets to die now. We'll trade one noodle for another. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. in for the new model of snake this one has I don't know I was gonna say heated seats but that doesn't make any sense here's the new noodle same as the old noodle all right prevent a recurrence of this problem. We're just gonna have the new noodle march itself out into the open and we're just going to shoot it until it stops. Give it the old yeller. I do not know why my gun audio is fucked up, though. This is weird. All the other sound effects seem to be working, right? Oh, hey! Bad guys. getting any dialogue. I might need to restart the game after uh, all is said and done. Because I do think something is broken. It didn't crash, but shit's fucky.
Ah, okay, there we go. gentlemen please stand by i'm going to try relaunching the game because something screwy is afoot and until then um let's see here what do we got that we can throw on here enjoy some words from our sponsors while we try and unfuck the situation Today's sponsor is Rain Shadow Legends! Rain Shadow Legends is a tactical fantasy RPG action strategy game with over 7 billion downloads worldwide! In Rain Shadow Legends, you have access to over millions of fun and unique characters such as. Orc! Um. Bugbear! Gun! Or elf. She's very pretty. Look how pretty she is. If you like now, you can download our WBPL 76 exclusive character, the Skeleton King. He break your hands. You can use special promo code Ligma to receive 42,069 rupees. You can spend them on cool cosmetic items such as skins. Um, like the kind that your character wear and make different outfits, not like a big pile of skin that would be gross. And also, flaming swords. It's on fire. Find out what over 7 billion totally real people who have downloaded this game are talking about and download the app today. Now back to the stream. Well, you asked for it, loudly. So, making its triumphant return, it's Digsbury's Farm Country Style Chicken Soda. That's right, after leaving our product line for, uh, various reasons, popular demand has been heard, and in a couple of cases, felt. So, we've acquiesced to your request, and haven't just brought back the classic flavor, but we're introducing new ones as well. Choose from our Country Style, Barbecue, Buffalo Ranch, and Jalapeno Cherry Bomb. We've got them all in stock in 12 ounce, 16 ounce, 48, and 50 gallon kegs. If you're doing some entertaining this weekend, or any other time, just come on down to your local OK Mart, and we'll get you set up and ready to go. And while you're here, why not grab a basket of our Digsbury Farms piping Hot Nuclear Eagle Wings and flame retardant ranch like sauce with a side of, well, Y Tom side corn. Just remember, folks, when you want quality, you want Digsbury Farms. All right, I think we might be back in business. Let's try this again. Real Trogdor vibes. <laughs> Hell yeah! Trogdor is one of the like 10 bajillion D characters you can get in Raimed Shamdo Legend. Or however the hell you say it. I don't know. I am not the mastermind behind this, I simply am the one sponsored by them. A totally real billion down toads. Wait, down toads? Oh god, down toads. The hell's a down toad? Uh, 
That sounds like something very tragic that I would feel awful making bad jokes about. No, I don't know what a down toad is. No bully me. No bully streamer. I know that's what, like, streamers exist for, is to be bullied, but... Uh-oh. Oh god, all I... Okay, cool. I'm like, oh no, all I told him to do was go to the door! Alright. Okay, so it sounds like the audio is fixed. This is good. Down toad implies existence of up toad. What is up toad? Well, that depends on who is okay. ass king. Keep moving. <laughs> side toad? What, is that a toad fed entirely on a diet of side corn? I need to go over here. Oops. I'm like, why is there nobody in the door? <laughs> Twerp work makes the derp work. Herp derp derp derp. Okay. Time for everyone to leave. Where's where's extraction? Oh, it's right over here. Neat. Right. Waiting. Right Let's go. to the hills. Run for your lives. God, the civilians are slow. Oh, one of them made it out the door. Ass King is indeed a denizen of the Sofa Kingdom. In fact, he is one of the rulers of the Sofa Kingdom. Cabra. Hey! Ask you can't. Ooh. But who wins in a fight? Ass King, ASCII King, or Skeleton King? Status confirmed. Well, it's good We've to have you, Cookie, even if it's contact. only for a short bit. Keep wake your hands. Oh god, my fingies. I need those fingies. Why would you do that to my little precious fingies? Double time. Got it bloody covered. Leave it to me. Yes. Okay. Everybody out. Martini shot. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. 
Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Bone hurting juice. Mm. Oh no. You've said this in the past, Falkenstein, the evac all mod. You're probably right. But I do not have it yet. And as far as pretzels concerned, you know, you know, you're not wrong. The way these guys leave the battlefield is just screaming, I don't have flesh on my hands anymore. All I can say is the Skeleton King cannot break your hands if you sandpaper your hands out of existence in the first place. the Avenger will survive having the Honk Father arrive. Or even just the Scions of the Honk Father. I've heard the stories. I know how badly things get. This ship is kept, is kept afloat entirely by wishful thinking and chaos. One by one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. Let's see, I think you're on mission right now. No, you're available. Uh, you're also officer trained. Saris, why are you yelling? Two secret projects at once? Oh, good God. Lady Red is doing things. God, a new commercial coming out. Oh no. The dance with white dog must work. You are not wrong. Gorilla Tactics School facility upgraded. All right. Hidden boss, you're going in for further officer training and promotions. Promotion! Wilf, you also need to, you know, get you some promotions. There we go. And Morn Welk is going to learn some stuff. Insanity now does a small amount of guaranteed damage. Hot diggity! Let's fucking do that. That's not how that works, Wilf. 
you're learning how to lead the men better. Totally. That's what's happening. Okay, so we need 80 intel before we can find out where the hidden chili factory is in South America. The team dead peck stands for disagree. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I'm gonna have to remember that one. Somebody quote that man. I have made a number of interesting discoveries. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Pew pew, fucko! Amplify the Zorg praising, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, yes, the Dong Launcher upgrades to the Poon Shooter. Fucking man the harpoons! These robotic units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous. Yeah, yeah the ergonomics capable of on that targeting thing targeting and engaging awesome. selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Why does it fall on you to do disassembly, though? That makes no goddamn sense. Why wouldn't the person who works on robots with the tools to take robots apart and put them together be the one doing that. That doesn't make sense. Tygen, you're dumb. Tell the fucking engineer the to do her goddamn have considerable job. considerable resources at their disposal, but we've still managed to do reasonably well against them, despite our own limitations. Only science man can do science. Only you can do science. No, that is dumb. That is dumb, and you should feel dumb for it. Not you. Uh, not you, Brummelstein, but science man. He should feel dumb. Workshop facility upgraded. Yay. Workshop facility upgraded. Workshop gremlin, workshop gremlin. Uh, I don't have enough money to upgrade either of these yet. Neat. Oh. <coughs> we'll get money soon enough. If he's the only person on board that knows how to use a circular saw, then we are doomed. Commander. The aliens are still moving forward. Oh on no, the, Avatar the eastern project. US has Taking an alien facility. facility. I'm fucking going, goddamn. I'm trying. <sighs> Indonesia was at strength four a moment ago. Oh, because they migrated to fucking Australia. It's like fluid dynamics. It all just kind of flows until they're all even-ish. Okay. Setting course for Sector 16, Indonesia. Can't Detroit just handle it? I hate to break it to you, but during the invasion, the aliens looked at Detroit and said, Nah fam, we don't want none of that. And they just fucking nuked the site from orbit. It was the only way to be sure. 
Oh, and now we have the skull jack. Now we can research skull mining. <laughs> I mean, we're not po interrogating them. We are literally hacking the brain chip that they've all got. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Brassy Seer, huh? Mm. Mm. Oh, hey, we got a new person over here. Nice. You're going on recruiting duty considering everybody got fucked when the aliens reinvaded. Bully Snake, I don't really want to think about broke butt alien, thank you. That is horrifying. You are at the highest uh, officer rank you can be. That is okay. New target acquired. Spectacular breath. <laughs> okay. I don't think I need to send the Faceless Murder Brigade to go do this. We'll send these clowns instead. Fuck it, let's do it. We got Quinn, we got Well, we've got Maremperor, we've got Noob Skills, let's go. Go Diary into the wild deployed. blue Menace, yonder, shoot the Xenos right in the dick. just see that one of my places recruited somebody? I think I saw that. No, no, I did not see that. What did I see? Did I see that we can recruit a new troop? I do not know. Nope. Oh, okay, whatever. What the fuck ever, man? You know what I really think we ought to do? Since we haven't found the real one. Let's go to, uh, let's go to this guy. Exactly. How's a clone too? We 
We are Legion. We are Hells. squad. <laughs> Now, the real fun thing is I'm now going to put the new Halza clone in the pod. <laughs> We're going to make Halza clone 2 the scrombulator. Hell no. Three hours. Also hell no. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. Ah, yes. The blue screen grenades. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including the pliable, semi-solid outer layer, there seems no to be slowly degrading now only that the creature has expired. These things deserve nothing less than to be killed with fire. It seems to grow stronger as time passes. There is something wrong with you, Tygen. You do not emote well. You are not human emotion well. The resistance is slightly more organized than I had imagined based on the rumors, but it still sounds like they'll be relying heavily on us to handle both strategic and tactical engagements with the aliens. Hopefully their network of contacts will... Shut up, Tiger. Target. God, what is... Oh my god. Ceres is following a small snippet of cookie that Lady Red is moving back and forth in front of her face with utmost rapt attention. Check the data tab. Uh oh. Setting course for Sector Two, Australia. I think now is the time for Faceless Mook Squad to go in. I do. This 
Skellyman, it goes well. And now there's the borking from the little bean. She make bork. Oh fuck, I could try and go with the Skulljack this run. Hypno Biscuit. Yeah, Hypno Biscuit is indeed how it went. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I cannot skulljack the enemy robots, despite as much as I would very much love to. Alright. We're upgrading from ray guns to something a little um, angrier. Jack for you. This can only end in tragedy. that scope. What is going on there? Like, how is that... I, I... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna push the I Believe button. It helps him shoot gooder. It helps him shoot much gooder. -er. It's made of technology. Yeah. We have the science... Yeah, it's technology made by the high. That's what it is. operation. Never mind. Uh, Hughes, I think you are... Actually, I think you might be available. No. Give me a moment. Yep, there you are. Alright, you're going in. We will have more AU. Whatever. 
And of course, we're bringing napalm and nerve gas rockets because fuck ET. Off we go. Sky range in position for deployment. Four technologies went into the making of this. <laughs> you know what? Four technologies with a quality control process of six. I mean, it's just about on par with the fact that the flashlights all are zip-tied to the sides of the guns. Never mind that there are, you know, rail systems. You, there are rails on the guns that you can use to put things on. That's what they're there for. You know, the little doodads that you slide the thing on and you screw it in place and suddenly it's there. It's attached. It doesn't go anywhere. It does the thing. Except, no, 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 no. Zip-ties. Hear me out. I'm going to say it one more time. Zip-ties. That'll do it. Top-notch military hardware. No, oh, well, fair enough, guy up Broadway. I do not know my Australia particularly well. Oh god, that thing just landed with a thud. I think we're on a rooftop too. Anybody in that building had to have just shit themselves. Just kaklong. Did I just have a squick moment? I might have had a squick moment. I don't know. What constitutes a squick moment? Because I am, in fact much like Squick, a human person with the appropriate number of human limbs. So, you know, maybe maybe it did happen. I don't know. I mean, San Francisco, Florida, they're all the same place, right? I don't see a difference. Do you? Ooh, he's got the stun rod sword. Ooh, and there's aliens. <coughs> He's also the only person with stealth on this entire operation. Noted. Well... Tell you what, fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuckinate the enemy indeed. Oh, hey, I can pass pistols to civilians. That's nice. What I cannot yet do is skulljack. I need an officer for that. Or I need to find an officer to do it too. Time for you to keep your head down. Lest it be, you know, vaporized. Ooh, 
little. It's your decision. Hidden boss. It's time to get into the north juice range. I want you to burn them out. Like the fucking disease those aliens are. What's over there? Bombs away! Hi, Sectoid! Suck death! Eat shrapnel! I wish for this alien to suck start a shotgun. I'm going to go assist it in this endeavor. On the move. Oh god, we have a lot of guys with shotguns. Okay, I'll go. Just gonna start duck hunting aliens. No need to ask twice. Double time. And onward marches Vectron to glory to war. Ooh. Right in the spine. What are you doing? Oi! That was rude. No kidding. You just put the fucking auto cannon into his brain meat. Got it. Like square into the brain meats. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. Aliens dead. Those are important. Those are nice. I want more of those. Now the question is, how many things are going to be over here where I don't have eyes? Because it is suspiciously quiet on this side of the target building. Which means that, clearly, the moment I walk around the corner to the far side of the building, it is going to go completely pear-shaped. Oh, hang on. We have contact. I see. Oh, robots! Even better. The Advent Captain would serve our purposes nicely, if it can be disabled. No, oh, we'll disable him, all right. <laughs> the memes over the aliens. Okay, that sounds dirty. Spreading the memes over the aliens? The phrasing there.
And now we have the Roomba. It is friend-shaped. Hello, Baron of Dirtshire. How you doing? I actually want you to go out chasing after the alien. Moving you're small, watch. you're squishy, you're useful in non-combat scenarios. Leave it to the professionals, kid. And by professionals, I mean the guys that are better armed, be okay. but probably not more competent. Got it covered. Scanning. Already there. At the highlight of your day. Nice. I am very glad to hear that for you. Ah, yes. Everyone knows the robots have a preternatural hatred for each other, especially when traitors are detected. Don't you do that. I am going to harpoon your jaw meat until your brain is hacked. Your squishy cerebellum shall reveal its secrets. Or else. Robot on robot violence? Hell yeah. Nah, not worth it. Don't shoot your boy. Nah, he used the whole reason you hacked him is so that you could shoot him. Roomba's not that good. Roomba's not mighty. But Roomba is able to absorb bullet. Daka. It has like a tiny little taser. That's not Daka. Daka is doing this. That is DACA. Except, you know, with lasers. So I don't know if it really counts as DACA. I don't know, do lasers count as DACA? Open question to, you know, everybody present. Are lasers DACA? Does that count? Lizard says no. Fair enough. I'm hearing the general consensus is because it not bullet, it goes pew, not daka. Could count as zappa. You know what? That's that's viable. Skulljack range yet. Alright. Close with the enemy. Go, go, go. Okay, depends on who wins the pub brawl with the most teeth. Yeah, yeah, that's that's orcs for you.
Okay, on my way. I hit the armor. No. <laughs> no. Indeed. Beamy death guns. Yeah, no, that's that is what lasers do. They are beamy. They are death guns. That is a unit in 40k, isn't it? Come on, poke your head out! Double time! Heading out! Affirmative, covering now! Got it covered! I don't know, BB death gun sounds a little bit spicier than a las gun. Las guns are kind of puny. By, you know, 40k standards. On the move! Considering in 40k everything is cranked up Scanning. to 11 though, I mean, I, I guess. It is not far. Like, compared to a real world firearm, a las gun is pretty gnarly, but uh, when you've oh, got dudes with freaking crazy ass stupid fucking gyro jet cannons and shit, yeah, the last one's kind of under- OW! That was rude. How goddamn dare you? Also, they are over here. That's unfortunate. All right, time to pivot. Time to pivot our efforts. On my way. Overwatch. Tell you what. Let's just do this the easy way. What's over there? Check it before you get too close. There we go. Now let's find out what the hell's over here. Because it can't be good. Nope, that's not good. But it does mean that they are convinced. Conveniently rocket bait. Got it. All right, here we go, lads. Let's see if we can make the uh, skulljack stick. Uh, thank you, Hughes, for the uh, subscription gift to Mercury. Hello, Grimos. <laughs> we have complete him. access to the Advent Psionic Network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. All right. Here we fucking go. Now we got this thing to worry about. Oh, 
and it's really hunkered in. All right, well, I got something for that. Suck buckshot, bucko. That did not destroy the cover. God damn it. Oh, that's not good. I have never seen anything like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. Yeah, it do that. Oh, god damn it. Stop getting stuck, keys. Escape keys, sticky. Okay, there we go. Alright, Hughes. Kill it. Kill it. That did not kill it. Ish. Ish. And that is because we're gonna go up be okay. here. And before you get to do anything, you easy, swiggly, holographic Dad, bimbo. Excellent work, Commander. Eat it shit. appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully. It will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. Move, move, move! It will provide something, all right. Finally! Ready to rock on Overwatch! Oh yeah, I probably ought to kill this drone. before it unhacks and starts doing stupid shit in the background. There we go. Hell yeah. All y'all motherfuckers are about to be on fire. Screaming and on fire. There we go. Congratulations, dickheads. Praise Zorg. Fine and dandy. Uh, no. You have a rifle. Where's the other guy with a shotgun? Oh, wait, no, they're all the way up here. Oops. Oh, well. Roger that. Alright. Uh, Mr. Officer Man. Die. Taken care of. And you can then go over here okay, I'll go. and let Officer Man's buddy know that it is his turn for die. <laughs> oh, oh, the bullets didn't kill you. Oh, no, I guess Draining you have to burn to death instead. Tragic. Go, 
much of that. On the move. Back on the line, covering now. Oh, and there they go. Oh, hey, he's alive still. But he's still on fire. Congratulations. You get Watch to die guy. screaming even slower than anticipated. Oh, I hope it hurts. I really hope it hurts. Shart thrower. Oh, no. set up the perimeter we, you have to wait for the alien reinforcements to show up because they uh, were a little slow on the draw this time I'm already there commander we kind of killed everything before the aliens could reinforce which you know ain't a bad Running thing out. I plan on it come get some oh, I'm on it Oh yeah. You just if you back so. up and let him burn out. He deserves it. He's a shithead. Reloading. Overwatch. I'm on it. And there he goes. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Oh shit! The aliens Status didn't confirmed. even get to send their reinforcements. <laughs> Sucks for you, ET. Living up to yeah, that that is the whole reason I put that in there. That and you know all of the different conversations about how the deep south, the deep American South, would come up with interesting ways to make snack jambalaya, among other things. I mean. We, we've had the conversation a couple times now, Kremos. It is basically concurred that Snake Jambalaya... I'm not sure what the sectoids or mutons would be turned into, but yeah, there, there would be some dudes strumming banjos and figuring out new and inventive ways to cook and eat the aliens. Down in the bayou. What was that, though? The sectoid paella? Or paella, however you pronounce it. That, you know. I don't know about Cajun Spice sectoid. They don't have enough meat on them, Wilf. You'd probably have to do with sectoid what you do with rabbit. Lady Red is suggesting a pie for Sectoid. We really put a hurt on the aliens this time, Commander. They won't forget it. Oh yeah, mutons are definitely really meaty. Though, it, I... Actually, I don't know. They might have a have decent, excuse me, marbling on them. to make enemies panic when they shoot at the uh, spark. That sounds great. Let's do that.
Commander, please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the Codex Brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. New objective added. The aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. Corn-fed muton. Oh god, raising muton specifically to eat. There's an industry for you. Alright, let's see. Squad management. Hidden boss is in charge of that squad. Peacock's got that one. Wilf has got that one. Hitman doesn't have... More than one it's dark, person. it's dank, and it's mostly metal. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. Hmm. Might just do cactus bat for officer training. In fact, I think I'm gonna do cactus bat for officer training. Cactus bat! Space Geneva. Considering what the aliens are doing, I doubt they do. Your troops seem to have had no trouble dispatching the latest alien threat, Commander. Excellent work. Hopefully the asset you recovered will prove useful. You know what? Fuck it. Why not? We've got enough time. We can send these guys back in for more. Hell yeah. Space, space Dingo ate somebody. Space Baby. You forgot to do the Space Baby, Mercury. The Geneva suggestion. <laughs> All right, cool. This will give us the intel we need to make contact with the last place to get the black site. And we can do more plotline things. Hooray! Now, I'm going to bring this one up. We haven't run into them in-game yet, but uh, chrysalids. Crawfish boil, but with chrysalids. I get that reference. Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> so, Silicon, I'm gonna just say it. When you encounter the Reapers in War of the Chosen, they got chrysalid on a stick. They're literally spit-roasting one of those things. I'm f as long as you take the poison sacks out, I'm sure it's fine. Just, you know, take the venom out. And the larva, and only eat the meat. 
Menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Too sweet. It might taste like lobster. I see you. Hello, little robot. Welcome to die. Move it again. Yeah, I know. Mona, jumping in. I mean, it's probably not advisable, agreed, Derpshire, but you know what? Yeah, not substantial, sure. But there's enough of the little fuckers running around Pretzel that you could probably make a full meal out of them just by dint of sheer numbers. Kind of like, again, going back to the whole crawfish boil thing. Assassinated. I'm crossing over. Cover me. Ready. Oh, yeah, we could just blow up the gas station under the aliens. That'd be funny. Yeah, if you fuck up with the chrysalid, you're absolutely going to get somebody killed. Agreed. The way those things operate, if you fuck up, then death. But if you get, like, the supremely skilled sushi, sushi chef who knows their trade to uh, prepare them correctly, I imagine they'd be decent eating. Whatever you say. Quietly. Yeah. There. That's where to. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to I mean, acquire. I don't know, Derpshire. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Whatever you say. But we won't know until we try. Why are they running? Oh, oh, okay, there's the last group. Noted. Careful not to mess anything up. Uh -huh. 
Let's go. Yeah. Doing this all sneaky like. Uh-oh. Not sneaky anymore. Challenge? Now it's time for violence. Gratuitous and hilarious amounts of violence. Oh look, I don't have a good shot, but I can do this. <laughs> Get fucked. It's all you ever think about. Hey, buddy. Time to die. Or not. Oh, no. Little bit of a problem. Well, let's kill the Advent Heavy Gunner, because that sounds bad. Oh, yeah, that would explain why Tiger takes so damn long. I think you need a timeout. So, who is ready to scrounge around for some science? Can we hack? Oh my goodness, yes, we goddamn can. Give me Roomba. Give Roomba. Committed crimes against art. Oh no, Nate. What have you done? What wickedness have you done today? Uh oh. No. No, 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 no. Do not do this thing. Why would you do that? You have doodled a raccoon. Okay. You have my curiosity. Can we snipe him? Yes. All right, let's grab lots of loot today. I did, in fact, hear that Bubba J now officially has the patent for the Herbie Lamb. Lemonade out of these lemons. Pop the pill. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Oh, yeah. First and foremost, we really, really need to get. Oh, well, whatever. There we go. go. Uh, BZ Archer, all you need to do is provide the appropriate uh, amount of 
Scoob. Or, do I have... Actually, I don't know if I have it turned on. Is name and game turned on? One moment. Yep, name and game is turned on. So yeah, spend Goob for name and game, and then you will be added to the roster. Oh, we have a water break. Thank you, Samurai. Hail Hydrate. Yep, Falkenstein, sure? after last week's incident, admittedly it is kind of a surprise that you're still breathing, but- Oh! Shit! Well, that's unfortunate. Well, since we've already activated them anyway, we might as well, uh... Just continue the follow-through. They kind of do. They kind of sound like that. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. I mean, the Assassin's Blade would be, uh, great. I just, I'm not playing with that DLC, so... Damn sexy. Ah, I, I do not have access to it. Besides which, I'm using a Tier 1 sword against Tier 2-ish enemies, so... We'll get there. Yes, shoot the Roomba. Not the sniper. Please, not the sniper. I use that. I need him. back there. Yeah, we're not getting that. Whatever you say. Well, we might as well just uh, euthanize <laughs> this guy. Your fly's open. There's no crying in combat. So I like the special classes to a degree, but the problem I had with them is that they start to really overpower the rest of the game. I mean, the uh, skirmishers were okay-ish, but the Reaper's ability for complete battlefield awareness and the ability to do unspeakable harm upon everything with zero consequences because they're permastealth. I don't know, man. And the Templar were similarly pretty game-breaking. So, who is ready to scrounge around for some science? They were fun characters and concepts, but they really did kind of put their thumb on the scales of the game. That was a nice hack. Oh, that was a great. You punch hit. him in the throat for me. Edge of your seat, stuff. God damn it! All right, well. Uh, 
Oh, crap. The extraction didn't actually get summoned. That's a problem. Um, call Sky Ranger. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get him on the radio. Tell him we're clear. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Uh, I do not have shredder ammo on this squad, no. I have it researched, but I don't have any equipped. Shit! There's robot on robot violence for you. Haha, -ha, you suck again! Motherfucker! Hit. That was just a cake to my power. Moving. Ready. Could use a workout. And let's give you guaranteed damage and rupture. Thank you. Whack. Oh, and he's panicked. Ah, ah. Sucks to suck, scrubbling. Yeah. Game here. Chariots, just a heads up. If it seems like you're walking faster than light, you're probably in a universe where light doesn't haul nearly as much ass as it does oh. on Earth 1. Who is ready to scrounge around for some science? What do we get if we hack this thing? Uh, nothing useful. Well, not unuseful, but nothing critically important. Let's just shoot him and call it a day. Or not, you know, ground. Shooting the ground works. Oh, real funny, guys. It's okay. This guy is gonna die in just a moment. Oh, I forgot about that loot. Oh, no. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, Mr. Psyker Man. Uh, can you kill him, please? There we go. Say good night, Gracie. Dreams come true. Fine. Take that. Okay. And everybody gather around the extraction. Time for us to leave. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. It was time for XCOM to leave. They had killed everything. Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Avengers, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. What the hell took you? Good. You know, it would help if we're not under an Can awning when we're trying to fast rope up. Uh, are you sure? What do you think? Is it my ride the best? All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Are Acid Round Zorg adjacent? I mean, I imagine there will be a splinter faction of the Cult of Zorg that views Acid as inherently Zorgish, Zorg like. I do not adhere to this doctrine. I feel it is disingenuous to the light of Zorg. After all, it is not just by the cleansing flame and the burning sensations in your loins, but also by the blessed light that we are guided to his embrace. As such, acid, while it may constitute some horrible burning feelings, does not possess the light of Zorg. Picric acid is an attempt to make the half uh, a acid that is touched by Zorg's grace, However, I still feel that it is anathema 
to the faith of Zorg. While it does explode darn good, it is not truly blessed by Zorg. Oh, that's the fun thing about it, Nate, is that Zorg is very much the... The faith of Zorg is very much a nobody agrees on anything, which is why it's fun. I'm glad to see our troops finding success in the field. It's good for the entire crew's morale. Oh, I guess you're continuing to go straight medic. God damn. <laughs> Correct, Pretzel. Very volatile. Alright, let's go make friends with South America so we can go blow up the alien chili factory. Or we'll Avenger get more venture power. New course. If I knew what that was, I'd be able to answer, but I don't. Oh, fuck off. Double fuck off. So, Falkenstein, this does have an element of that, because the whole point of the Advanced Warfare Center is you can train dudes with out-of-class skills. I mean, you tell me, but there's a chili factory there, and we need to destroy it. That That is the thing, Mercury. So we're going to go make friends with South America so we can do it. Capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Attack workstation, find a lead. Setting <laughs> course Fuck it, for why Indonesia. not? Yeah, we'll send this crew back out for another round. They seem to be doing okay. You could do both skills of rank. I will give you that. You're not on the Ox Landing team because you were part of the two-man assassin squad which is now a one-man assassin squad, admittedly. Setting course for the Australian sector.
Yeah, we'll send Panzer in. Panzer sounds fun. And, uh, where is it? There was a shotgunner that was available. There we go. Uh, make armor available. Make weapons available. You get the laser shotgun. to say it follows the law of inverted ninjutsu, but it really doesn't. If anything, the law of inverted ninjutsu is very much a bad idea, because what inevitably happens is you find that the bad man just gets more shots at you, and then you die. violence, how's the clone? I believe in you. Alright, meanwhile, uh, extra critical hit chance. Yes. Basics expanded magazine. Yes. Basic autoloader. Yes. So, Falkenstein, that is not necessarily true, actually. Um, with the Suppressors mod added in, if a suppressed weapon kills an enemy, there's a roll to see if you are revealed, kind of like how the Reapers are in War of the Chosen. Uh, the first kill is always guaranteed to pass, but it gets increasingly more difficult as time goes on. But if you smoke the entire enemy squad in one go and nobody misses, then... And all of the hit kills are one hit kills. So if you one tap every alien in a squad, that's it. You, you're still sneaky. Ah, in the normal game, yeah. In the normal game, stealth is very much a one and done kind of gig. Unless you have a squad all equipped with the uh, pre-game concealment ability or you get really lucky and you can hack a lamp post that deploy. gives you concealment. Why hacking a light pole gives you concealment, I don't know, but Setting course for Sector 4, Chile. if it works, I guess. Do not care. Also don't care. Jesus Christ, guys. I still don't care. Even if it does offer me Elenius Pius. Operation Sickening Substance. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna skip on those though. Oh, you dildos! Jesus Christ, guys! Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone Fuck yourself. Fuck me! 
We are finding everything! Operation Faceless Lagoon sounds terrible. So I have not yet played Xenonauts, so I didn't know that was a thing. That sounds really fucking gnarly, though. It's like, fuck you, I'm just going to nuke the site from orbit. This research can only further our advances, Commander. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. It has ninja feetsies. Like Teenage Mutant, mutant Ninja Adventist Turtle feet. steady progress in convincing the remaining civilian populace... Tygen, shut up. I do not care. Commander, oh, you should establish contact God's with the sake. local resistance network as soon as possible. The aliens are undoubtedly moving forward with their plans. Okay. Uh, recover... Hitman, not there yet, not there yet. Fuck it, we ball. God damn, every fucking thing is all happening all at once. Ah! just want to have a moment to kill the fucking chili factory. God damn it, aliens. Have a good one, pretzel. I'm pretty sure humanity can hold out for 40 minutes. because I have bad karma. What did I do to get this bad karma? Get, trying to get caught up in the hidden project. Yeah, Lady Red has been up to something behind the scenes. It is relevant to the shenanigans she does on stream for, you know, W Beeples. Hijinks. Yes, Grimos. Hijinks is appropriate to describe what I am witnessing. Hijinks are very much afoot, and oh boy. Apparently, she has two venues of hijinks. Oh, look! There's a noodle in the cell with them. That's great.
not just hijinks and death, it's hijinks and stereo. Alright, where's the sniper? You're not the sniper. Are you the sniper? No, you are not the sniper. There's the sniper. I want the little gobot dead. Make it so. And I swear to God, if you fuck this shot up. Okay, good. Oh, fuck, he didn't have a suppressor. Son of a bitch. I am dumb. Oh well, fuck it, we ball. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like about auto resolves is there is a very real thing where the auto resolve will ignore the fact that you're in a position where you should, by all accounts, just utterly steamroll the bad guys and then you get fucked. No vengeance can compare to the vengeance. Have I done an X class only run? No, I can't say that I have. Something that is interesting to conceive of, but I've never been in a position to do it. Toaster. Oh, you fucker! Out the door he goes, and. Immediately gains concealment. Not worth it. Damn right, leave no survivors. Oh, 
Yeah, I didn't expect that to work. Oh well. No worries. He's stunned for a turn. He can't do shit. Time to die. I'm gonna beat you with a cattle prod until you fucking stop. I mean, yeah, if we're looking to make a uh, name for ourselves, that is a good way to go about doing it. It sends a certain signal. And that signal is, fuck around and find out. Also known as, get fucked, alien. I get your reasoning, Falkenstein. It's still just not a tool I think I would ever actually use. Oh! Hello! Yeah, I haven't gotten uh, heavy weapons. The Sparks don't get lasers, funny enough. They didn't put in uh, tiers 2 and 4, so I need to get magnetic heavy weapons before I can upgrade my Spark ar Arsenal. In Long War, so remember, lasers are a Long War thing. They're not vanilla. In Long War, they added lasers, as well as adding uh, a new tier of weapons between magnetic and plasma called coil weapons. So, the two new weapon types that got added in don't actually have... Uh, no, what you might call it. They did not add spark weapons. Oh, hey, more noodles. Hooray. Timing, I think you are right, though. Ah, Intimidate failed. Oh, well. You know what? That's okay. Because you know what's about to happen? Gratuitous violence is about to happen.
like, I don't know, going Hassan Chop on the Sidewinder. Do we have Pocket Sand? No, we don't. We got flashbangs, which are almost Pocket Sand. But mostly we just have violence. And I mean a lot of violence. There we go. Uh, the red ones are sniper noodles, the normal yellow ones are regular noodles, and then you've got the bluish one is an assault noodle. The big difference is the regular ones have rifles and are mid-range fighters. The assault noodles have submachine guns, acid spit, and or not acid, poison spit, and they're a lot faster. And the snipers don't get the poison spit, but what they do get is the ability to uh, shoot at you from beyond visual range if one of their allies has line of sight. So they're, you know, the same as your sniper. Except noodly. for the civilians to run for their lives. Closing. I like how all of the faces on the Most Wanted poster here are all varying iterations of my uh, faceless mooks. everything. Might. Reposition the sniper, however, to continue maintaining uh, an overwatch position should anything attack from the road. And all the while, the civilians continue continue to do their thing. And that thing is running, panicked, and screaming to extraction. Scary Yakisoba. <laughs> yeah, with how fast the alien turn is going, I'm pretty sure they're all dead. Everybody out, it is time to go. It's panicked flight like this that really bonds people. Yeah, you know, you're not wrong. Closing. 
Yeah, it's an extraction mission, Falkenstein. It means I do not get to call my own LZ. I'm stuck with what Bradford chose for us. Because Bradford's fucking incompetent. He's not as incompetent as Darius, though. I prefer Bradford to Darius. Darius is just a fucking lying piece of lazy shit. It's like, oh, I think there's only, like, a lance down there. Maybe, Commander. You'll be fine, right? Three lances later. Darius, my dude. I'm going to fucking throw you out a fucking airlock the next time you tell me that I'm walking into a single lance and it turns out that I've got an entire company of bullshit coming my way. At least Bradford is usually accurate and honest with what you're in for. Oh, they're about to have reinforcements this turn. Oh no. That's problematic. I don't know if I would be so brazen as to call the Sky Ranger an assault transport. I wouldn't trust that thing to survive plasma fire. Oh hey, it's Muton. with his steak knife bayonet. Yeah, I definitely would not call the Sky Ranger an assault transport at all. But it would be nice if, you know, everything is fucking dead to be able to uh, just go, Hey, uh, Sky Ranger person, can you, like, I don't know, spare us the marathon? We're not in imminent danger. Okay, the sniper is here. That is good. You, sir, need to continue hauling ass. Yeah, the Muton is definitely uh, too little too late to help the aliens cause on this one. Sniper, get out of here. You're useless to me at this juncture. I mean, if we are in imminent danger, then I can understand the pilot not wanting to go in there because uh, that muton has a plasma grenade and plasma rifle. That probably would be bad news for the Sky Ranger. Like, you know, just yeet the plasma grenade at one of the engine pods and bad things happen. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. It is not far. Yeah. The fact is, with only the one transport, if uh, Firebrand goes down. I mean, shit, if Firebrand goes down, XCOM as a whole is completely screwed. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Like, 100% fuckulated. I would definitely like for close air support, though. You know, just a, a chin-mounted gun of some variety. Like, put a Ma Deuce on there.
put a Modus on there, and then watch, watch the wonderment occur. I mean, it kind of was, Diggs. I'm waiting for the other shoe to fall, and I think the retaliation mission might just be where that happens. I'm going to send this squad right back into the mix of uh, for that particular op, however. We will see what occurs. Also, so, ladies and gentlemen of chat, I have a question for you guys. Who here is planning to participate in the Mega Max Solaris tournament that is happening between the AUX and the BPL? I'm glad to see our new recruits aren't hesitating when it comes to taking out the aliens. All right, I got Silicon, Skelly Man, Archer. Okay, cool, cool. I do not have a partner yet, so maybe we get, you know, lumped in together. I need to make sure I can actually do it first, though, because I have not tried Mega Mech Online yet. I, I would indeed enjoy fighting tonight, Diggs. King of the Hill, Ox Mega Mech, sounds like a grand fucking time. I know, I know, love. Tea and dinner first. I get you. It'll happen. <laughs> the Lady Red is saying, I must fuel her shit posting by fueling her. Uh, Frozen Hawk, what is Mega Mech? So Mega Mech is a pr uh, program where you can make me you can make mechs, customize them, but also it has all of the canonical mechs built into it, and it lets you play BattleTech online. Like it's it's the tabletop where a lot of the numbers are automated for you. So it's classic BattleTech where you don't have to do the math. Oh, hello, Sarahs. Something's in the backyard. But uh, it also lets you play classic Battletech with other people online. It can be quite a bit fucky, you are right. Oh my goodness. She has definitely got her full-on alarm bark going. What is it, love? There's a what? Oh, there's a duck. There's a ducky lad in the backyard, and Saris is not happy about it. <laughs> She's yelling at a duck in the backyard. Okay. Uh, how long has it been out, Frozen Hawk? Um, I don't know. I don't know, but it has been out for a while. 2005. Oh, God. Yeah, it's been out for a long ass time. Fuck. Yeah, I'm curious to see what kind of war crimes everybody's making. Because, uh... Oh yeah, we gotta do this. God, double damage. Heading course for Sector 6, Eastern Europe. I'm curious to see what kind of crazy-ass war crimes are gonna be made, because the event itself is going to be a 3k BV per person, up to two units, mechs and tanks only, 
3080 is the cutoff year for equipment. Standard uh, rule set. And yeah, um, I can tell you right now that I've discovered how to make things that just go word and turn into a fucking sea whiz. Yeah, Frozen Hawk, if you want to play, dude, Mega Mech Online in the Ox is a regular thing. I mean, I'm going to put it to you guys this way, as far as Wacky goes. Um, there are people who are trying to make the most, you know, cocaine-addled, crazy light megs that can are damn near unhittable as possible. And then you got guys who are trying to make the Indestructo bot made of guns, armor, and hate. We've got meme builds that focus on being a fucking sea whiz. We've got guys that are trying to do just all flamin' all the time in sword praising goodness. It's it's gonna be a time. Oh, Ceres has investigated the ducky lads, apparently. They have now left. This is goodly, because she was losing her shit. enough armor for everybody. That's a problem. Oh, no, that's a lot of missiles. going, we don't need armor to meme. Alright. Let's see, what do we want here? that you don't get utterly ass-reamed by the aliens because, oh no, because god damn it, I want Hidden Boss with his fucking napalm rockets on this squad because we're gonna goddamn need them. Might want to exercise restraint. Fuck restraint. Aliens are attacking one of our home bases. Fuck restraint. We're bringing explosions. We're bringing a lot of explosions. Oh yeah, there are definitely people that are unassigned to squads, but we have as many people as we can fit onto this deployment right now. Yeah, there's a complete absence of restraint in this. We are not going to be using any. It is go in, kill them all, believe. Sky Ranger. In position to drop. It, 
restraint is not dropping. You know what? You know what restraint is? Restraint is not taping claymores to the fucking little, uh, to, to the murder bot here that is Vectron and watching what happens. I mean, Falkenstein, yeah, it's just a haven, but effectively it's find people, survive until extraction arrives, and then run for the fucking hills because the aliens have infinite reinforcements and the longer the mission goes, the bigger the waves of reinforcements become. It's gonna be a bad time. It's gonna be a bad time. And the resistance is going to lose people. Oh look, the place is already on fire. Restraint is not strapping a claymore to your chest and walking forward to see what happens. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay, um, we are starting in a corner. That's actually probably a good thing. That is probably a very good thing. Anything to make this place and everything in it just a fucking pier the moment we manage to leave. I don't need lectures. On the move. Got it. I swear to God, if the person that is hanging out on the extraction point is a fucking play face, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh, it's a mutant centurion. Wonderful. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Ah, there they are. Wonderful. Can I delete one of these guys? Possibly. All right, let's see if we can do it. Because, Falkenstein, that's the whole point of the mission, is we cannot kill them all. They keep on coming. The whole point is get the civilians here, get on the dropship, get the fuck out. This base is lost. We are just trying to rescue as many people as possible before the bombs drop. That's why I'm saying that this mission is going to be a bastard.
Roger that. Okay, it's not a clay face. Thank God. Oh, hello, Saris. She is speaking for a treat, doing little pirouettes and everything. But yeah, this is 100% a get to the it's chopper done. mission. This is not a normal defend haven mission. It's long war changing them up to make them a lot more, um, well, hazardous. Multiple pet redeems, my dear. Pets, because she is still sniffing up the crumbs behind my chair. She had her a milky bone. Ugh, okay, pets occurred. Oh, don't throw grenades. Those are not friendlies. Yes, yes. Run to friendlies. Oh, somebody's dead. Oh, hey, they're alive. I doubt I'm going to be able to save them, though, because fuck. Oh, hidden boss is burning. That's not great. That's not good at all. Okay, we've rescued that one. Or at least we've got them under direct control. <laughs> Assuming direct control. All right, uh, Gremlin heal. How about hidden boss, you not be on fire? That's better. And now how about you uh, return the favor and set them on fucking fire? Fire in the hole. Yes, Tierlock, I was thinking much the same thing. through all the fire. He's not in cover anymore. Oh, he is in cover. All right, let's fix that. Blow them off their box! Now he's not in cover anymore. I mean, the Thermobaric rocket did ignore cover. It did damage regardless, and set them on fire. It's just that, you know, the cover was not destroyed, so regular bullets are gonna have problems. Oh shit, fucking Muton's dead. All right. This is a point of strategic import. Please, 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 
hit. Please, I need you to hit him. Okay, at least you hit him. It didn't kill him, but you hit him. Hold on, we're on our way. Stealth is not exactly my style. Ain't that a fucking quote. Shotgun will definitely do the tungsten shotgun. It is friend shaped. And he's down. Threat neutralized. That's one way of describing what just fucking happened. Threat pulped. That's a better one. Alright, you were gonna try and find the person that ate the bullets but didn't die over this direction. Because you're still concealed and not in danger of getting shot. Yeah, threat turned into XP. Accurate statement. That's a problem. And a shield bearer. That's also a problem. Damn it. Yes, shoot at the robot. The robot does not care about your bullshits. That's not great. That's not great at all. Fuck, you survived with one fucking hit point. You are incredibly lucky. They're not good for me to have to deal with because they're bad and I don't like them. Yeah. Friends running away. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I got a dude with rockets right. right here. Do you have range? Not especially. Fuck. Fire! Oh, oh, well, he hit him. He hit him. That's good. Got it. I'm on my way. Uh. And this 
this guy can die. How many of these did you rig? Not enough. Did not rig nearly enough. You know what? I really don't care about the guy that's over there. He's got one health. He's off in the distance. Right now, it is time to fall back because we got two turns until extraction. When extraction gets here, hopefully we can get out of here and be okay and, you know, maybe go have corn dogs or something where the aliens are not. Oh, Christ, Chris. Oh, no, God. These chrysalids smaller than I remember. Then again. It was never really their size we had to worry about. Oh boy, that's not great. That is... That is the bad thing. That is bug. Bug bad. No want. Go away. Robot, help them shoot them in their bug-like dicks. That is easily done. Oh, Mercury, no. I don't want it. You do have more fire, Hidden Boss, and you are going to be applying it very shortly. I don't care about the guys with guns. Shoot the bugs. Oh god, the bugs are alive. Yes, shoot it! Shoot! Alright, you know what? Before the rockets start whistling around you, you really, really should run for it. It's about to get spicy over there. It's about to get extremely Got spicy. It. You know, I kind of wish the Berserker would move towards me every time I shot it on the basis of uh, it would Gonna lure her further and further into my guns. Well, at least I killed one of the chrysalids, I guess. That wasn't on target, but it helps. Alright. Rimwork, where the fuck are you? I need your napalm. I need it now. Stop doing that. Fire thermobaric rocket. We missed the berserker. That is not great. That is extremely not great. Um. On my way. Come on. Now let's hope this thing still works. <coughs> We're just gonna disorient. We're gonna do all the things. Oh yeah, there's that guy over there. Don't care. Do not care. What I care about. Is, oh, you said this was going to be easy. You 
said this was going to be easy. You lied. You lied. No, I don't have a Brad voice in here. Any voices that, uh, the one that you were saying, you said this was going to be easy. Uh, that one was Alec Mason, Red Faction Gorilla. stupid idea. It is a stupid ass decision and we're not gonna fucking do it. Yeah, it does have a lot of HP, what's up? That's why I told the heavy gunner to open up. Just full mag dump. Empty the battery on it. the key there is proof we can so re oh god damn it i went out of my way to rescue that person how dare you this is firebrand it's time to go goddamn skippy it's time to go I finish him. No, I cannot. Oh well. Everything's on fire. You say that, but it could be more on fire. Uh oh. Okay, he can make it. I just realized how far away he was. I'm like, oh no! fire on fire because praise zorg that's why don't ask questions don't worry about it said it could be more on fire. Oh, hang on. That didn't set any... Oh, hang on. A little bit of fire. Okay. I was out of... Come on, hurry up already. 
I was out of napalm rockets. Looks like we're leaving two of the civilians okay. behind. You know what? Fuck them. Get my ass back. I mean, I used the name Palm Rockets Falkenstein. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. I fired them. All base. of them. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh, hello, Silent Faith. Thank you. If their ashes offend me, deploy the Hydra Scene. Jesus Christ, yes. Yes, let's do it. They haven't burned enough, damn it. More. Oh. More! Hasta del fuego, fuckers! death smoke. Is that the color the hydrazine smoke? The, the smoke is? I've never actually seen hydrazine in use, you know. Just the closest I've come is playing Dead Space. It's not on fire until the dirt is burning. You know what? Fuck it. Chlorine trifluoride. Fuck everything. Fuck you. Fuck your armor. Fuck your gun. Fuck the dirt you're standing on. Fuck the rock under the dirt. Looks to me like it's working out just fine. Chain shot has been too good to not take. Ah, yes. Phosphorus. Speaking of Willy Pete. I know. I know I have all of that. I get you. Let's go get the damn Avenger fucking thingamabob. Don't care. Supplies. Don't care. Supplies. Don't care. Supplies. Jesus fucking Christ, I don't care. <laughs> okay, actually, this one I do care. Wolf needs to go in and become a major so I can get bigger squad uh, infiltration. God's sake. 
so many things happening. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I care a little bit. That's right, Ziggy. Nope, don't care, don't want the black market. I want to go all the way down here Setting and finish finding the fucking chili factory so I can burn it to the goddamn ground. Because how dare White Tom join the aliens? Those are our beans. We earned them. We toil for them. Objective we're taking added. the beans back, Commander, ladies and gentlemen. We've established contact with the local resistance and we're ready to move on the alien black site on your order. Those are our Advent's beans. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. How are we gonna have chili dogs? I mean, you asked the wrong question, Ziggy. We already don't have chili dogs. That's the whole problem. The aliens took the chili factory, and if we can't have it, they can't have it. And no way it's the real white, Tom. Yes, Derberger, you are in fact here. They take the Skyline Chili Factory. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. Uh, no, Hells, you did not show up. But we have made Hells a Clone 2. And Hells a Clone 2, as Lady Ridge said, Hells a Boogaloo. Chicago dog is the king of hot dogs. You know, Nukade, I I don't really have a dog in that fight, pun fully intended. I'm not. I am one of those weirdos. I'm not really much of a, a dog fan as far as, you know, food goes. I am not big on hot dogs or chili dogs. I know it makes me weird, but if he gets resurrected, be hell zip up. Oh, ho, ho. That was bad. Bad and you should feel bad. White phosphorus round, you can make incendiary bullets. You can make fire bullets. I already have poison bullets. I don't have the fire bullets yet. What I am also going to do is we are going to build... Um, Der Burger, I want you to have napalm and nerve gas. That is very unfortunate, Mr. Jiggle. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I hope the uh, resolution comes quickly to this problem.
once in IFF, it's a thing that doesn't matter in the slightest. 30 minutes for a total, Ooh, that is a long time to be waiting. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. the things that you were bringing an unholy amount of. Oh, also, your rockets now hit harder. And your flamethrower does more com combustium. Burn the non-believer. Coyote, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, that's interesting. going to start this mission. I don't know if we'll finish it today, but we're going to start it. Because I have not heard anything to suggest that uh, there won't be the normally scheduled Monday Madness today. Operation Dismembered Gambit. What did Gambit do to deserve that? Ziggy, that's horrible. I laughed, but that's horrible. <laughs> like, how dare you? It can't be hit on the wrong girl. Yeah. Lady Red suggests that he just said something French. Mass gambling debt. The casinos came for him. All right. Once more under the breach, my lads, once more. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Expect hostile resistance. No, no. no. It came in under Shit. the door. Came here. Just so you know, this mic isn't two way. I can't hear a damn thing you're saying, so don't waste any oxygen trying to talk. Whatever you say. All right, let's hurry up then. I'm feeling speedier than ever. That's right. Keep walking, guys. I just need to get past y'all and past your train. Once we're past Mr. Train, then maybe we can start the party. Let's go. Moving. I have a bad feeling I just made a mistake. No? Oh, okay. Oh. 
you know, this is the same building. I th no, it's not the same building. I take it back. There was a building similar to this one that ended the last uh, campaign. Keep out of sight. Ah. We have found the enemy. Two mutons, three noodles, two troops. And a yep. partridge in a fucking pear tree. Whatever you say. I like your grip. Puzzle could use a more help. seen and won't be able to immediately aggro. Get a load of this. I'm dead. Oh. That noodle's immune to Overwatch, isn't it? Fuck. I have made a mistake. Damn it! Stop imposting! What can I say? Okay, well, you know what? One down. Better than none down. Game guns, we're done here. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Who is ready to make some science? Don't spoil the ending or you're fired. Blizzard, it's it's immune to triggering Overwatch. Just it like doesn't trigger time. Overwatch at all. The noodles are cheating. I don't usually do this anymore. Well, that's not great. That's not great at all. Tell you what. Fuck this will you. Be over in a flash. Fuck you, noodle. That's what you get for cheating. They caught us. Let's crash them. You ruined everything. Hi. Yes, run away. Flee. Like you? <laughs> Answer? No. We beat What's him. That? Where's that green glow when I need it? And that. Okay. Ooh. 
shoot me, I shoot you! Ah, uh, crap. Here we go. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. We do. And we're going to access the exposed access point. And... damn it. Oh well. Here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Make more pre-recorded messages. Your fly's open. Firebrand, it's time to go. Tell you what, I'm telling them, keep your grab on. the loot and leave. He's a jerk. Instead of sending us the apology fruit assortment he promised, he just sent a whole bunch of angry wasps. That one gets me every time. Nobody likes angry wasps. Engines one. Asking for the bees, but you know what? I got what I need, so I'm just leaving. Are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. And we win. Goodbye, aliens. Flawless. Yeah, no, that one was very smooth and by the numbers. Quick in and out. They do not all go that way by a long shot. But it's nice when they do. Hello, TK. How you doing, man?
loading screen. I'm most under fire, Muton. <laughs> you're one of the team now. No, you're not. Go away, Muton. Nobody loves Muton. Not a single casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. You and me both, Tygen. You and me both. Alright, now we'll go to the course. black market. See if we can hawk off some of our, you know, hard-earned spoils. Market is open. Actually, no, I could use a technical. Fuck it. And a sharpshooter. Now we have more troops! Hooray! Possibly end badly. We won't have Skynet. Honest. I'm not. I, I'm on to you, Baron. I'm on to you. I see what you're trying to do here. And it's entertaining, but also very bad. You know, uh, I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your Radford, father. Radford, I don't care. Radford, was, uh, I don't care. Radford, I really order. don't care. Getting Shut the up. Avengers power Stop. back online Cease. was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system, but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't. He gave everything he had to get the ship running, but he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here. all of our goddamn supplies to do all of that. Well, oops. Wait, blue screen. Ooh, that doesn't require any money. Let's do it. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. wine bait. There we go. Setting course for yeah, we'll sector two, that one. Fuck Australia. It. 
send out the Oxlandians for another ride. Wine bat. No, not wine bat. Wine bait. <sighs> We're gonna send the dropship out Diamond to do the thing. And I think it is at this point in time that we're going to have to wind down because coming up very shortly should be Monday Madness with Tex and Depp. I don't know what shenanigans they've got in mind for tonight, but should be coming up within the next, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. And my face exploded. There it goes. Anyway, as always, guys, it has been a great time. And a large part of that is the ability to sit and just kind of coke and joke bullshit around with you. It is appreciated that of all the things you could be doing, you choose to come out here. So, with sincerity, thank you, guys. And until next time, I hope you all have a good one. Explosives. Explosives. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. Explosives. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. 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 When using explosives. Explosives. When using explosives.